بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہائی ایوری ون اٹس عاطف فرام پاکستان ود دا بیسک نیٹ ورکنگ فرسٹ لیکچر ان دس لیکچر ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا نیٹ ورکنگ دا ڈیفینیشن آف نیٹ ورکنگ اٹس اسکوپ اینڈ دا ٹائپس آف نیٹ ورکنگ لوکل ایریا نیٹ ورک میٹروپولیٹن ایریا نیٹ ورک وائڈ ایریا ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی آل دیز ٹیکنالوجیز ان اے مینر دیٹ ویل کور اے ہائی لیول اور ویل آف آل دیز تھنگس it will be good for the basic uh, the beginners and for the intermediate network professionals as well so let's start first of all the networking what is meant by a network or the networking networking is the sharing of resources wherever you are sharing your resources it's called a network the network term is not solely related with the computer systems there can be a human network there can be there are, there are number things of number of things that can be adjust in a network there are insects network animal networks there are number of things so first of all we have to clear one thing what is the man what is meant by the networking what is network so the one thing is very clear the network is the sharing of resources wherever you will share your resources with the others it is called a network same as a taxi driver share his car with you he'll share the car the tires the engine and everything of his car with you and will you'll pay for or pay him for the sharing of that resource he's sharing that resource with you another common and uh, a very good example of it's cable networking that is a cable tv you are getting cable tv services in your home cable tv service provider have a huge expensive setup consist of uh, dishes and the links and the cables and different equipments he'll drop a cable to your premises and will charge you monthly for the sharing of his resources that he has situated he has situated on a office he has situated the, those things in an office as a central office so it's a type of networking because he is sharing his resources with you and you are paying him the charges to share his resource to uh, to use his resources ye bahut common example hai aap kisi bhi tarah se kisi bhi cheez ko ek network ka part bana sakte hain aap ghar mein whatever you people are using aap daily commodities jo aap log use karte hain wo bhi ek network ki taraf se hi hoti hui aapke paas aati hai one person jo usko produce karta hai dusra jo usko wahan se pick karta hai warehouse mein drop karta hai third wo person hota hai جو اس کو وہاں سے پرچیز کرتا ہے شاپ تک لاتا ہے اینڈ اسٹور تک لاتا ہے اور ففتھ آپ ہو جو اینڈ اسٹور سے اس کو پرچیز کر رہے ہو سو اٹس اے چین اٹس اے نیٹ ورک ایوری ون از شیئرنگ از ریسورسز ود یو ایک کموڈیٹی کی ایکچوئل پرائس بہت کم ہوتی ہے لیکن اس کو بنانے میں اور اس کو آپ تک لانے میں بہت سارے ریسورسز ہوتے ہیں جو جس کے لیے آپ کو پے کرنا پڑتا ہے از آلسو شیئرنگ آف ریسورسز سو ریسورسز کین بی ڈسٹنگ کسی بھی طرح کے ہو سکتے ہیں ان کے ڈسٹینسز چینج ہو سکتے ہیں Access speed can be matter, but one thing we'll share about it, everything where we are sharing, it's called a network. The sharing is network. So let's go to the second slide. Now we'll discuss specifically about the computer network. Just like that, the definition of network, where network is the sharing of resources and computer network is the sharing of computerized resources. That's it. these resources can be hardware resources or software resources but the very important thing is the data in always include the data word in the computer network definition my friend it's very important sharing of computerized resources and data on a computer network everything is data and data is an expensive thing and we use and we used to share the data with each other we'll discuss this in detail resources can be of software resources and hardware resources suppose you have 10 computers network you have only one printer in your network and you want that all nine other computers send printing jobs to that specific computer that is attached to the 10th computer so you can share that printer with the network with the network users with the network nodes اس طرح آپ کے پاس ایک اسکینر ہے آپ اس کو شیئر کروا سکتے ہو آپ کے پاس تھم اسکینر ہیں آپ ان کو شیئر کروا سکتے ہیں دیر آر نمبر آف تھنگ لائک دس جو ہارڈ ویئر ریسورسز ہیں ناؤ کم ٹو دا سافٹ ویئر ریسورسز بٹ وٹ ایور وین ایور ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ دا سافٹ ویئر ریسورسز آئی کین شیئر دا ڈیٹا 
this software i have an ftp server i am a computer system in my network where we, where i have a number a mute a large collection of media songs movies and different type of things and i want to share those things with the all other network users all other network computers so this is a software resource so resources can be of software or hardware but wherever we'll share that it's a computer network data sharing is very important everything is data in the network world everything is the data you can share your data with the other computers sometime it may be possible that on one application number of users can work on the same application at the same time aisa hota hai aapke paas ek database hai us database mein char ya panch operator ek waqt mein entries kar rahe hain they are sharing their data with each other aur jo jo bhi data wo store kar rahe hain wo har ek ko update hota hua nazar aa raha hai so the data sharing is very important distances can be matter media can be matter but the importance of data network is really really it's a huge matter the data is everything in our network so the computer networking is the sharing of computerized resources and data move to the next point now we'll discuss about the types of computer networks my dear friends here we have three major types of computer networks one is lan the local area network second is man the metropolitan area network and the third one is wan the wide area network we'll discuss all these three networks in a bit detail the local area network it it uh, it's a local area and the network a some type sort of network that is in a local area in a small area it's not a vast network it's not a big network just like a home network or in an office network or in a college network so the network lan definition is the network within a small geographical area a chote area ke andar ho or in a building ya a building ke andar ho it's called a lan lans are small it can exist in one house office building school or one college campus or in a campus so local area network is a small network there are limited number of computer usually exist in a lan they can be hundreds 150 1 to 200 but i cannot i cannot suggest you to get any specific figure that a 300 computer network is and no it's not it's not like this a lan can be exist of 1000 computers i know where i am working here we have more than 1500 computers on our lan so lan but a major or if we will discuss a 99.9% local area network they consist of small number of computers uske baad the second one is fast access to the network resources well, definitely lan is a small network so the resources access can be very fast ek lan mein resources ko aap fastly access karte ho just because of media and the access methods because you are sitting in a small area you can access easily with the other, uh, to the other resources of other one thing is sure lan is a network within a small geographical area or in a building now move to the next one metropolitan area network what is by went by a metropolitan metropolitan is a boundary of a city uh, an area that is called that is named as a single entity is called a metropolitan area this is a network that is larger than a lan it's a network that is existing in a city the network within a city is called a man or metropolitan area network it's a city based network just like this you have um, suppose we have uh, uh, a departmental store with the five branches on the different locations of one city and they are connecting with connected with each other by a network by whatever the media cable and the access method we are not going in the details of access methods or cables but the five departmental stores are connected with each other on a different locations of a city every departmental store have his own lan in a store it mean there are five lans in five departmental stores every department store have one lan now they are all connected with each others as well 
and by the for by the connecting of these five lands they are forming another type of network that is called metropolitan area network jab ye panch networks chote chote panch lands ek dusre ke sath aapas mein connect ho jayenge ek city ke andar to isko man kahenge metropolitan area network kahenge it is good for the efficient sharing of data and resources but comparatively as compared with the land the speed in metropolitan area network becomes a slow because of the large distance next let's move to the next point wide area network first we have discussed lan that is the network in small geographical area then we move forward with the man a network that is on comparatively with the lan it exists on a big a large scale that is on a city net in the city network now we are talking about wan the wide area it's mean this network covers huge area so the definition of net definition of this wan is network of networks it's a network of consist of networks mean it's a network where we have we are connecting the number of networks number of metropolitan area networks number of lands users from iphones users from mobile phones from desktop mobile machines they are all connected to the network they are all forming a single network that is called a wan wan is a very large scale network it's an international network it's a worldwide network number of branches around the world of a company of an identity can connect with each other by using wide area network efficient sharing of data uh, and uh, data is always there but speed speed to access the resources can be matter it will be slow just because of the large distance suppose i am sitting in pakistan i file i want to access a network network node that is uh, on right beside my computer systems on the uh, on the other table the person who is sitting are right there it will be very fast if i like access the computer if i try to access a computer or a data that is that is in a computer system on the computer system where is currently situated in usa you can think about that man it definitely takes time the network the difference between lan and wan the speed difference it's really huge but it's very efficient network that you can access around the world you can access around the world the very good example of this type of network is internet internet is a very good example you are sitting in pakistan aap duniya mein kahin par bhi internet ke through ja ke data access kar sakte ho you can access anywhere in the world suppose you are sitting in usa you are sitting in uk uae you can access anywhere in the world if you are on internet if you are on wide area network so wide area network is currently what i think what i am what i suggest said that you people should understand this inter wide area network or the internet is the backbone of current ict based eco societies it is a backbone of these societies you are having e commerce systems over there you have e education systems over there you can access any information of anywhere in the world by sitting on one computer system so it is be just because of that wide area network aap duniya mein kahin par bhi koi information bhi access kar sakte ho ab jitni governments hain sari e governments hain e government based systems aa gaye hain har cheez government jo hai wo web ke through kar rahi hai aap log sale purchase kar rahe ho आप आपका अपना बैंकिंग सिस्टम जो है वो सारे का सारा कंप्यूटर्स पे आप शिफ्ट कर चुके हो आप अपने मोबाइल फोन के ऊपर जो इंटरनेट यूज कर रहे हो और यू आर एक्सेसिंग द रिसोर्सेज विदाउट ईमेल व्हाट आई थिंक देर इज नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन विदाउट ईमेल इन दीज डेज एंड इन फ्यूचर डेफिनेटली इट विल बिकम मोर रेगुलर यूज इन यूज ऑफ एवरी सो देर आर थ्री नेटवर्क लैन मैन एंड फैन land network in small geographical area man the network in a big a bit big that is in a city and the wan that is around the world next lecture that is lecture number 2 thank you very much for viewing me allah hafiz